Hi, this is Jay Whitaker with Panduit. Um, this video describes how to use uh, CAD Connect with the Visio drawing program. CAD Connect uh, is a program that installs itself as an add-in to the Visio drawing program. To use CAD Connect, uh, you would open a drawing in Visio and then go into the uh, Tools menu option, then Add-ons, and then under the Add-on uh, menu, you'll see Panduit and then CAD Connect. Clicking on CAD Connect will launch the CAD Connect application, and it will go out and process the drawing and find all the identifiers that are available on that drawing. The identifiers are brought into an available window, and you can uh, select all the uh, available identifiers just by clicking on the double arrow to the uh, to the right. You can unselect those by clicking on the double arrow to the left. You can select uh, an individual identifier just by highlighting the uh, identifier, clicking the arrow, and pull that back out just by clicking on the left arrow. Uh, you can also uh, select a group. So I'm going to click on the first item in this list list and then do a shift click to highlight a range of uh, available identifiers. Click on the uh, single arrow and those items are brought over to the selected uh, window. You can also reorder those alphabetically, different directions. Um, you can also add individual items uh, multiple times if you would like. Uh, CAD Connect also has the ability to edit an identifier. So this, if I want to edit this uh, identifier that's selected, I can double click on it. I have a window that opens up and this allows me to modify it and save it. Let's do that with a second as well. Uh, once I've uh, selected the identifiers, then I would go click on the next button. And there's three options for output from CAD Connect. I could go to the EasyMark labeling software and create labels. I can send this information to an Excel spreadsheet or to a CSV uh, file. If I'm going to use EasyMark, I need to uh, select a label format. To do that, I can filter the list by the type of printer that I want to use. And let's say I want to use a soft laminating label, I can type in part of the uh, part number. And the list will be uh, narrowed down to that part. Once I find the format, I can click Finish. EasyMark will uh, open with the uh, selected format and the identifiers populated in that label. And at this point we can save the information or go and print labels. So let's go back to uh, CAD Connect again. <clears throat> the first uh, example I showed you was selecting all where we simply uh, activated the, uh, the CAD Connect add-in. We can also select specific identifiers just by clicking on those items. Then I can uh, do a control click to grab another uh, item. And then this time when I go to launch CAD Connect, I'm just going to bring in those three items, as you can see here in the drawing. Um, now they're sorted alphabetically. We can also do positionally. And if I do it by row or column, you can also do it by date stamp. This is when the identifier was created on the drawing. This is real handy if uh, a user is uh, adding new information to a drawing and wants to just create labels from the new information. They could do a, a stamp, time stamp, and that would uh, give them all the uh, the newer identifiers at the bottom of the bottom of the available list, and then by order selected. So. You know, depending on the order that I select uh, different uh, identifiers, they'll be in that order in the available list here. 
let me cancel out of here and show you some of these uh, these different uh, features. So this time in the drawing, I'm going to uh, click on this uh, item, and then that one. And let's say this one down here, this one over here, and then this one here. And this time, when we launch uh, CAD Connect. So you pull those in, they're sorted alphabetically, but if I uh, do uh, order selected, you're going to see a little bit different order because I selected uh, this AO2 first, and then AO7, and then I selected uh, the A10, the 4, and then the 3. Uh, to show you the positional sort, let's uh, click on that. Doing it by column. Let's go with alignment. So when I click on alignment, what happens is CAD Connect looks at these two identifiers and, and using the alignment option, it decides that that uh, AO2 should be before AO7, and then AO3, and uh, A10, and then A4. So that's a handy feature. So if if uh, the user wants to print out labels in the same order as the drawing, then the Positional sort is very handy for that. At this point, I can select all these identifiers. Next, uh, let's go produce a uh, heat shrink marker. Heat to mark again opens. With the uh, selected format and the information is already populated on the label in the order that uh, that we selected. That concludes the demonstration of CAD Connect uh, labeling software with Visio. For any additional information, please go to CanDoIt.com. Thank you.